Hello everyone, my name is Faith Brownlee and I just got back from the Tyler Oakley Slumber Party Tour in Vancouver. My best friend Megan was mindlessly scrolling through YouTube one day when all of a sudden she saw the tour video. So she immediately, being my best friend, calls me up. Faith! Megan! I have big news! Okay, what is it? Tyler Oakley's coming to Vancouver! Ah! Ah! We were excited. Anyways, we bought our tickets, but we didn't get the VIP upgrades. One of our friends did get to meet him, so we lived vicariously through her. I attempted to vlog most of the day with my GoPro, but I mean, it's not a very reliable camera, so... Sorry. <laughs> Morning. Come on, wake up! We have adventures to go on! In the morning, we attended my church service, went out for some lunch, and then I got in scheduled for work. And that's not really a big deal because I work at a pool doing birthday parties, so it only took like an hour out of our day. Ah! Tyler's in Vancouver! Woo! And Probably we're, just Langley for And we're in Langley, at Langley Central, waiting for the bus. And after my party, our journey began! It is now about 2.15, and the day has officially begun! Away from all our responsibilities, let's go! Tyler, we don't live in igloos. And we hopped aboard the SkyTrain, and as we're on our way to Vancouver, we noticed two teenagers that we thought we heard them say Tyler Oakley. We weren't sure, but I mean, the guy looked rather flamboyant. He had green hair. The girl, she was slightly awkward looking. I was like, I think they're going to the tour. Let's go talk to them, Megan. No! Yes! No! Yes! I just ended up at one of the stops just going over to them saying, hey! No, this is awkward, but are you going to the Tyler Oakley tour? And of course they were. And so we had a nice little conversation with them. Good vibes, good vibes. Then we decided that it would be a bad idea to hang around Vogue Theater for about three and a half hours, so we went to Metro Town. We're in Metro Town right now, and I just fixed my GoPro, got a battery for it, so it doesn't suck. Hey Megan, this is where we're supposed to be, right? No. No? But I thought we were going to the Tyler Oakley tour. No. We've just decided we're gonna be, we're just gonna embrace our white girlness and buy some flower crowns. Now, I am a big prevailer of, I don't want to conform, I am not your generic white girl, but that is like, so far. Ugh. We gave in, we got the flower crowns. I'm looking at kind of these greeny bluey ones. I feel pretty. After our little adventures at the mall, it was time. We took the sky train to Vancouver where it was being held, rise up onto street level, it immediately get baked. It is 30 degrees out that day. Over there, it's our people. And there's not big enough a line as I thought. <laughs> oh, oh, a bus Five here. Minutes. And it's providing shade, that's really nice. But then at last, the doors open, and we make our way into the theater, find our way into the bathrooms, and change into the onesies. Ah, this is happening! Look at it. It's so beautiful. And then, the show started. Tyler! Come on out! Yeah! So the entire slumber party tour was really fun. I think probably my favorite thing about it is that it just felt like a slumber party. We were just chillaxing with this big YouTuber. He would actually like point out to people and say, you, your hedgehog onesie is fabulous, you are queen. One of my favorite moments is when Tyler, being a shameless self-promoter, got someone to stand up wearing their t-shirt and come up to the front and of course she's like ha ah, ha so excited he notices that she was on her phone and she's snapchatting and so he takes her phone and he takes this video hey just hanging out um chilling with a couple of my friends another thing about having the whole slumber party feel is that he got different youtubers to send in clips talking about slumber parties, and then it would kind of introduce the next segment. You know those Mad Lib things? They were popular when people didn't have the internet and nothing better to do. Well, he did one of those, and it was a fan fiction. And he would say, okay, I need the name of a city. Obviously, everyone's like, Vancouver! Okay, I need the name of a hot male celebrity. Harry Styles! Harry Styles, good idea. Later that night, after the show, Harry Styles and Tyler met up at Chipotle. And he, like, perfectly emulated the style of a crappily written fanfiction. It was beautiful. One of my favorite moments is that he spilt uh, a little secret. He said that he and Dan, when they did their collab in August, had actually filmed a third one. We, well, after we filmed it, we were like, this feels like I can't even upload it to YouTube. It's so inappropriate. So we filmed another video just in case we couldn't edit out all of the anything rated R. Very smart. I got this on video and, uh, I feel proud, I contributed to the fandom, my work here is done. 
And of course Corey came on stage and he helped with a game and talked with Tyler a little bit. They did their little handshakey thing. But all good things must come to an end and that glorious event had to commence. That just happened. Yeah. Are you in shock, Megan? Hey. <laughs> we had a good time. Thank you, Tyler. You were amazing. Love you, Tyler. Yeah. And yeah, that was pretty much it. That was the tour. It was a really fun experience for me. Just like made me more pumped about this whole culture and like just having a big heart for it. And it got me even more hyped for VidCon. Stay tuned, subscribe if you haven't already to see our adventures in July. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you went to the tour in Vancouver or anywhere else, let me know down in the comments. How was it for you? What did you like about it? And as Tyler Oakley would say, do bye!